a haul to share with you guys, but before I get into that, I did want to introduce you to the newest member of our family. Say hello! Say hello! Say hi! Oh, I love you. This is Jake, and he is a F1 purebred golden doodle. So, so his dad is a golden retriever, and his mom is a standard poodle, and we love him. We haven't even had him for a week yet, but you fit in so well here, don't you? you do he's gonna be pretty big like he's only eight and a half weeks old and look at him look at him seriously you guys if you're looking for an amazing family dog golden doodles I'm convinced already are where it's at he is just so friendly so docile um, he's been staying in the yard and just he's just been so awesome he's been really great with the neighborhood kids they've just been like coming over to constantly play with him yes we love you we love you um, and they shed very, very little. So I wanted to introduce you to him because we love him so much. Yes, we do. And if you guys want to see more of him, I do have a vlog channel. It's called Steph's Life. I'll link it below. And you can see more of Mr. Jakey on there. Yes, you can. Can you wait? Hi, YouTube. Hi, YouTube. He is teething. So he's got that, like, puppy chewing thing going on. But we'll have lots of toys, right? Okay, so see you next time. Okay, so I have just kind of like an assortment of things to share with you guys. I placed an order with Sephora, also with MAC, and then I picked up a couple things from my local department store, and I do have a couple clothing items to share with you as well. So I'm going to start with the stuff I ordered from Sephora. I did go ahead and order the Naked Basics too. I'm so excited to share this with you guys so that I can finally open it up. I have this weird thing. I know I've said it before, but like I don't... Most of the time I don't use any of the makeup that I buy until I like do a haul. Oh, I'm weird. I did have the Naked Basics original. I liked it. I don't have it anymore because the black shade in it shattered and it just made such a huge mess of everything. Jakey! Biting my toes. This is gorgeous. I'm so excited to play with it. It's definitely got some cooler tones and I really like that. I've been into that lately. I've also really been loving matte shadows so um, most of these are matte. Gimp definitely has a little bit of shimmer. Guys, I'm so excited to use this. I know a lot of people have done reviews on this. If you guys want me to do a review on anything that I'm showing you, just leave a comment below. But man, already I can tell this is going to be amazing. So I do have an empties video coming up, but I just finished up both my Estee Lauder Double Wear Foundation and my Shiseido Foundation, which I really liked both of those. Um, I'll definitely repurchase the Estee Lauder. I feel like that's just like a staple for me now. But I have been wanting to try the Nourishir Glow for a while, so I went ahead and ordered it. I got the color Mont Blanc, and it's, it's a good match. I did just swatch it on my hand and my wrist one day, and it, it didn't seem to oxidize. It looked like a pretty good match. It's got like a pinky undertone, which... I also have the only thing I'm not a fan of like just from the get-go is the packaging because it does have that like gaping hole dispenser I just wish it came with a pump or it was a squeeze tube but I've heard great things about the foundation so I'm excited to try it and I'll definitely let you guys know how it goes okay the last thing I ordered from Sephora is the Becca mineral blush in wild honey <sighs> I've had this on my wish list for so long and it's just one of those products that keeps selling out so I was on the like email reminder list and they sent me an email a couple times saying it had restocked but I just wanted to kind of wait until I was ready to order and so when the Naked Basics 2 was available and the Wild Honey Blush I was like oh it's time. So here it is I have not worn it yet but look at this. Look at this. Oh this is so pretty. I'm going to swatch it right now. <gasps> oh it's so gorgeous you guys. It is just the perfect perfect fall color. This is incredibly smooth. It's just like very buttery. I am, woo! It doesn't really have a smell. It is just gorgeous, the perfect fall color. I'm so excited to start wearing this. I've heard nothing but good things. I haven't tried a Becca blush before, but I'm obsessed with the, what is this called? The Shimmering Skin Perfector in Moonstone. I'm wearing that today, and it just gives you the prettiest kind of luminescent glow on your cheekbones. This is so pretty. Packaging's very similar, but the blush is quite a bit smaller, so. Oh, so excited to play with that. Okay, that's it for Sephora. I did place an order from Netta Porter, and I gotta say, I was really impressed because I had never ordered from Netta Porter before. Came in this cute little um, 
Ziploc bag that's got like a built-in bubble wrap, so I like the packaging. So I have been lusting over the Burberry Sheer Eyeshadow in Pale Barley for so, so long, and I just really haven't had the opportunity to pick it up. None of my department stores carry the Burberry line. You know, you can't order it from Sephora or anything like that. But I noticed that Netta Porter was selling the Burberry Beauty line, and they had free shipping one day, so I just broke down. I was like, yes, today is the day to do it. I have not swatched it yet, but I did peek at it in the pan, it looks beautiful. It comes with this really cute little um, pouch that's got like the Burberry print. I saw Jen G. A couple of these purchases were actually inspired by Jen G. I'll link her below. She designs the L&M jewelry line. This is one of her pieces. I love her. She's amazing. And this was one of her suggestions. It's been suggested by a couple people, but seriously, look at that. Okay. The moment of truth where we swatch. Oh my gosh, you guys, this feels so smooth. <gasps> Look at this. <gasps> oh my gosh, this is just a beautiful, beautiful color. It's almost like, gosh, I don't even know how to describe it. It's somewhere between like a champagne and a taupe. It's got this beautiful kind of um, iridescence to it. <gasps> I am so excited to wear this. And the packaging is gorgeous and like really sturdy. It's magnetic. <gasps> Okay, I am super, super excited that I finally got my hands on this. Just at a first glance, that is just so pretty and it feels like butter. Oh! Okay, so the other purchase that Gen G inspired um, is from Clinique and it's a blush in number 18 called Totally Tawny and it's a gorgeous, gorgeous, kind of brownie toned. Well, let me open it up and show you. Here it is. It's kind of like a brownie toned pink color. It does have a little bit of shimmer in it. It is so Stunning. I swatched it in the store like several times before I bought it. It's just the perfect fall color. Again, I am so excited to wear this. I think I might do like my favorite fall blushes. So if you guys want to see that, let me know. I, I know this sounds kind of funny, but like these brownie kind of colors, like the Kylie Jenner inspired lips and the brownie tone pink cheeks are definitely coming back in style. And it just reminds me, like, I was a teenager in the 90s, I'm 31 now, but this packaging just makes me smile because when I was a teenager, my friend's mom used to shop at Clinique all the time and she'd always give us her samples, like, when it was bonus time, so we would be just so excited to play with this stuff, and it just reminds me of, like, being 14 again and playing with makeup for the first time. This is a gorgeous, gorgeous fall color. The last two makeup items I wanted to share with you guys are lipsticks from MAC. Um, the first one is called Rebel. It's a really popular color. It's a satin lipstick. It's a little, when I when I opened it up, I haven't swatched it yet, but when I looked at it, I was like, okay, it's a little bit darker than I thought it would be. Um, I kind of wanted to go outside my comfort zone and try a vampy kind of purple toned color. Um, just let me swatch it. There it is. It is like, bam. I don't know, I heard a lot of people raving about it and I looked at different swatches and pictures on several blogs and it looked really flattering on a lot of different people so I thought I would give it a whirl. I'll let you guys know what I think. Just swatching it though, it is quite pretty. It doesn't look quite as dark. And then the second lipstick I got from MAC is called Retro and it is another satin. I love the satin lipsticks from MAC. MAC lipsticks are definitely some of my favorites. And this is kind of like that 90s Kylie Jenner. I know everyone's so probably tired of me saying that but um, look at this. This is just a I have no room. This is just, oh, look at this. This is the perfect, like, 90s inspired lip color. So, so pretty. And my friend Kristen from the Kristen K channel, when we did our swap, she sent me this Jordana lip liner in Tawny. I'm wearing it today under um, Estee Lauder's Rich Cashmere, and it's really pretty, but I think a color like this would go perfectly under, um, like, any of these 90s kind of inspired lip colors as well. It's just got that little bit of a brownie tone to it, so it's super, super pretty. I'm so excited to wear this, and I think it's gonna go really well with the Clinique Totally Tawny Blush, so ooh, I love fall. Okay, so that's it for makeup. I did wanna show you guys two clothing items that I picked up. I actually still have them in the bag because I just picked them up from the post office. Ugh. So I recently discovered this online website called Illy Couture. I actually found them through Instagram and this is not like a sponsored thing. I, I paid for all of this myself, but um, they have really, really cute graphic tees, sweatshirts. They're just like, I don't know, they're really sweet. If you guys saw my last video, I was wearing a shirt that said, um, Mare, Mama, 
Mammy, something like that. It just says mom in like three different languages and they make like really cute graphic tees for people more my age, I guess. <laughs> anyway, so I got this one. It's gray and it just says fashionably late, which I thought was very appropriate because I am never on time. Um, I just thought this was super cute and I just think it would be cute with a pair of like ripped jeans and like a nice little sweater. Super, super cute. It's really, really comfy too. Other item I picked up from them is a sweatshirt. It says retail therapy. <laughs> I just thought it was so cute and when I got it, I was like, oh my gosh, this is good quality stuff. Like this is, this reminds me of my J. Crew t-shirts. It's just like that really nice jersey knit material and this has the fleece lining. It's going to be so cozy. I just thought it was adorable. What size is this? This is a medium. I got this one a little bit bigger um, just because I like my sweatshirts to be a little oversized. And then this is just a small and the, uh, the, the other one that I was wearing was a small as well. And it's, you know, it's already kind of oversized for a small. Um, like it fits, it fits the way I'd like it to. It's loose. It's not a tight fitting small. I guess that's what I'm trying to say here. So just if you're interested in the sizing. Okay, so I think that's it, you guys. I hope you enjoyed this. Um, thanks so much for taking the time to watch. If you haven't subscribed, I would totally appreciate if you did. Take care of each other, guys, and I'll see you soon. Bye.